Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to register yourself with Samro online? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to this channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos I think you will find informative. In this video, I plan on showing you step by step how to register yourself with Samro online. Now, those of you that know, before not so long ago, you'd have to download the forms with Samro, but recently they've made updates where you can register yourself with Samro online. The easiest way to do this, I'm going to go to my PC and show you step by step how to register yourself with Samro. Stay tuned. So the very first thing you want to do, you want to be on Samro's website, samro.org.za. And then when you're in here, you want to create a where it says creator, because that's what you are. You're an independent musician, so you are music creator. So I'm just going to wait for it to get there. And then when you're on this page, you want to scroll to where it says, how do I apply? You just click on there and then automatically sends you to here. So there's two ways you can get started with an online application or you can download the forms. But before you get going, you make sure that you have a copy of your ID scanned and ready to upload. So click on online application, make sure you get your ID certified. Okay, application for Samro membership. And then when you're on here, you're gonna click on where it says composer slash author. So there are four parts that you need to fill out. So I'm gonna start at the top where it says title. You click on Mr. Surname, you can click on soap. I can't use my real name because I'm already registered. Okay, and then for your A. You put your surname first, you put your first name, your AKA, this can't use skill. I have to use something else. Um, the arachnoid. And then you put your ID number. No, 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 no. Sorry, I have to count these. Um, you won't allow that. This is not my ID number. I'm just putting something generic because it's not really safe to put your ID number on there. So you must make sure your ID number matches your birthday. So um, what is this date? 91. This is not my birthday either. I'm just using it as an example. Where's 91? 91, 11th is the November. 11, 91, 11, 15. Hmm? Digits missing here. Yeah, so it's the 15th. So your residential address. Um, let me just put. The residential address is where you currently live. And then if you have a different postal address, some people might do, you just click on there. Uh, it probably won't want this. So I'm using my Irish one, country of birth, South Africa. Where is South Africa again? You just have to scroll and find where they've got South Africa written down. Right at the top, they put South Africa, which makes sense. Their nationality is from. Huh. South African. I'm a male. Contact by oh, 3572. And then you click on there. So your contact details is your number. So your home, you can put your cell phone number and then your cell phone number, you can put your cell phone number for email address. You just put in, I'm going to use my normal email address, info at scam music SA. And then for contacts of next of kin, I'm just going to put, I'm going to put my actual name in there. And then uh, let me use my Irish number for that. And then for next of kin is basically whoever you want to get your royalties. If you are to, um, unfortunately head over to the afterlife. 
you can add multiple of them so you're just going to click here and say add another index akin but i'm just going to keep one as myself okay click on the declaration and then on the signature you have to just sign you simply just draw i don't know how this would actually work if you make a mist on the phone but if you make a mistake you click on this button so okay and then this is the date so it's a very simple process actually and then you click on next and then you just wait for it to send in your forms and then it tells you if there are any errors so you just scroll down and find out where the errors are and that was my email address dot com okay now the second part is the notification of work so you just want to tell them of the songs that you have i'm just going to use i like i uh, can't use that song it's an actual song um gravy train now if you don't have any songs i highly suggest that you put in just like an example song or a song that you're thinking of writing um you don't necessarily ever have to release this song so you put that in there and now for alternative titled gravy train 2.0 alternative title of a song okay let me go over again in the notification of works you're basically telling samro what songs you're registering correct so in the title they only want you to notify once one track sorry and then this track will be able to register you successfully and then once they've sent you a relation number you'll be able to put in your whole catalog so i suggest you put in the song that has had the most radio time with your notification of works this way and then when once everything is sorted and you get your relation number then you put in everything on the online portal so duration of the song to 20 and then the type of work or genre i'm just going to say hip-hop this is very important for instrumentation if there are vocals and an instrument then you choose iv if you've just written the lyrics of a song you can just put in voice solo but i'm just going to put in both and then the performing art of the arachnoid okay and then the rights holder I'm going to put in myself as the rights holder. Capacity writer. Author. Capacity has to be author. If you are the person who wrote a composer slash author. I'm surprised they actually didn't put in like a something that tells you the different roles capacities so then you click on next make sure you put in the share split make sure you put in the share split and then you click on next and then they go into the next page which is also simple this is where you put in the name and applicant as per id so let me put in what was that guy's name it was joe soap yeah that's what i used id no line one 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 fifteen and then it was a bunch of fives one two three four fives okay, five. this is not my id number it's a fake one i made it simple so i could memorize it for this process exactly so this is the deed of assignment of copyright you're basically giving samuel the right to collect your performance royalties which is what everyone actually does you can read through all this it gives you an explanation of what it is and then you just put in the signature again then you go next okay part d is the final one 
it's actually very simple to do it online compared to the forms full name of nature of nature of business so your full name was joe soap the identity number since this is for a person yeah you have an id number this is not for a publisher so i'm going to just put in that uh id number business type you don't have to put in anything because you're not a business or you can put in solo artist i guess you vat registration number you won't have a vat registration number so you don't have to do that member representative name is for publishers so you can just put in your name again joe so and then for designation as you notice some things don't have a star so you can leave those out so designation i'm going to leave out member representation i'm going to leave out so i'm going to focus on the stars with regards to an individual artist so gmail.com number of the member this is your phone number uh, uh what is that oh, wait, three okay let's use my normal number website remember you can leave both of these out if you don't have them this is my old address might as well leave that in there you can leave website of member i can leave this out and then physical address you have to have as it is stored so port elizabeth and then over here with the membership agreement you click on here to accept the terms of the membership and then this consists of the first four parts five parts four parts that you did so you can't submit without this you click on there then you move forward and then you just simply attach your id number your id so preferably save it as a picture or as a pdf um let me find something on my desktop there should be some kind of pdf there for this example there's a pdf ISO manual. <laughs> so this would be your id that you choose you simply sign right at the end and then you click submit i can't click submit because it's not an official one and then they'll send you an email confirming that they have received your stuff it is really simple to register with samro actually this is a lot better i'm glad that samro did this congratulations samro this makes everyone's life and yours a lot better but that concludes this video that concludes this video where i showed you step by step how to register with samro i hope you found it, this video informative and if you did please hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as I do have other videos I think you'll find informative. I also have a WhatsApp group where I share weekly information with my fellow independent South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. The link is in the description below. But that concludes this video. And until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan, signing out.